Hello, I'm Gabriel with Boss from Dogs, and today I'm here with Rosa, and we're working on her loose leash walk. So what I've been doing, we, we have been here for a little while, and it's really hard right now. So I'm gonna do a short, uh, easy video. So I'm gonna start walking, and I'm gonna talk while I walk. So before you start walking, you always say the dog's name and say, "Let's go, Rosa. Let's go." And okay, so some key rules of walking is that she never gets ahead of us. If she does, we do a correction. Also, I'm doing what we call circles of control. So if she wants to get ahead of, ahead of me, I just turn. And this teaches her that she has to be aware of where we're going. I want to keep the, le the leash loose. I don't want to keep tension on it. So she knows when I do a correction, she knows she's doing something wrong. Also, uh, what I do is that I hold most of the leash with my right hand. So she, do she, so she doesn't get away from me. That's very good. And also, I have my left hand free so I, so I can treat her. And I place her when I want her to be. Yes. And this is a good walk right now. She's not pulling. And she's a puppy, so she's going to get distracted by everything. But this is a good walk. I like, I, I like how she's walking. She's not pulling. She's not sniffing. And this is very good. Rosa, hey. So every time I turn, I have to communicate with my dog. It's really hard right now, so she probably wants to go back inside. Uh -uh. So you can see, from time to time, she gets excited, and that's fine. Yes. And this is a very good walk. If she stops, you continue walking. But I'm going to end it there. She wants to go back inside, which is very understandable. Oh. And I know Rosa. And, but for now, this is very good. Next time, we're going to add distractions and make it a little bit different. Good girl, Rosa.